So this week's action item is to open an Apple developer account. Now before we actually do that and go through the process, I want to make sure that you have at least these basic requirements and that you've got the budget in order to actually enter that business. So to open the Apple developer account, you'll need $99 per year. And in order to create your first apps, the very minimum budget that you'll need is $300 per app. And that's if you're going to be using uh, an automated online app building program, which you'll do yourself. And lastly, you will need access to a Mac. Initially, you won't necessarily need to buy a Mac. You can use a friend or a relative's but you will need access to a Mac for certain parts of the process of uploading your application. Once you're sure that you can meet all these three criteria, then let's go ahead and open the Apple Developer account. So first off, head over to developer.apple.com. Then scroll down to the screen, you'll see the iOS developer program here and click on that. Now in order to enroll, start the process here by clicking enroll now. Okay, you can just click continue. Now you need to sign in or create an Apple ID. So you can either use your existing Apple ID or create a new one. For this demonstration, I'm going to be creating a new Apple ID. It now asks you, are you enrolling as an individual or a company? Now, if you're just starting out, it's better off that you enroll as an individual. It's just a quicker process and you'll get approved more quickly. When you're enrolling as a company, then there are more steps involved and Apple sometimes requires a bit of correspondence back and forth with you. And it, can, it definitely is a process that takes a bit longer. So this isn't legal advice. You might for legal purposes want to open a company but just in terms of practicality an individual account is easier in order to get started so I'll be selecting individual here okay something seems to have gone funny with the screen here but we'll, we can continue the process anyway it might look a bit different when you do it yourself so you can enter an email address here and just enter and re-enter a password So I'm just going to enter all my personal details here and then head over to the next screen. Once you've entered your personal details, and you'll come to this screen here. So it asks which Apple platforms do you develop with. So if you're just developing, we're going to be developing iOS apps, so click on iOS. What is your primary market? This doesn't really matter, just fill in whatever you want. So it could be, let's say, uh, let's say education. Uh, what types of iOS applications do you plan on developing? So again, it doesn't. this does not really matter what you put in and you, you're not going to be limited to any one of these choices. Please select the primary category for your applications. How many years have you been developing for Apple platforms? New. Okay, it asks you some questions about developing for Mac. That's not relevant. If you're just doing iOS. So you can just scroll straight down to the bottom and then click continue. The next stage is that you'll need to read and agree to the uh, Apple developer agreement. So take your time, read through it, and then once you've done, check the box and click I agree. Okay, the next step is to actually check your email because uh, you've been sent a verification code. So we'll go and do that now. Click continue. So in the next screen, you're just going to need to enter all your billing details here. Next, you'll need to again select your type, the type of developer program. So we're going to click on iOS developer program. And again, that's US $99 per year. So now just review all your enrollment details. And once you're sure that everything is correct, then submit it. Again, now you're going to have to agree to the iOS Developer Program License Agreement. So make sure you read through that. And once you're done, check the box and click I agree. And that's pretty much it. The next step is to purchase the program. 
for some for some countries you will need to send in a purchase form by fax uh, with your credit card details and others you can just do the process online once you send in your application form then you will receive an activation code in your email now if you're doing it by fax this can take a few business days up to five business days so just be patient and check your email uh, finally you'll need to activate your account and that's it you will have access to the Apple developer program once you've completed this action item that's the first critical step that you'll need to do in order to start creating your own apps